and I'm going to cheat and go straight for this definition because I want to know what it means. Overvalued owing to accept. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Owing. It's literally overbought. Uh, people bought too much at unjustifiably high prices. So they are saying that it is. That basically price is too high. Because people are too. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Too overzealous in their buying. Okay, first foundation. F F F W M. I don't know where the W M part comes from. Whoo! These are some nice numbers. Check that out. Man, these are these are nice, nice profit margins. Year over year increases in both revenues and earnings. Man, what do these guys do? Through its subsidiaries, provides financial services to individual businesses and other organizations in the United States. So yeah, they're a financial management company. Um, so they also provide cards and banking and stuff like that. Yeah, banks banks always have fantastic returns, and I think I know why because they kind of because they deal with money, they kind of scale with inflation. They kind of scale with inflation. Um, actually, you know, I I just kind of I just kind of scared myself. I just kind of scared myself because I never really thought about it that way before. I'm just kind of talking out of my butt right now. But that would make sense why bank earnings go up over time, which wouldn't necessarily make them good. Which wouldn't necessarily make them good because they can go up and also not have a, a fundamental um, betterment of the business. Uh, yeah, I just kind of scared myself a little bit. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna carry on and uh, take a look take a look what the chart looks like. Ho oh, ho! Stonks go up, baby. Um, well, stonks sometimes go up. Stonks go up from pandemic lows. That's definitely true. But it had a it had a, it had a good solid going up pattern right until the end of 2017. I wonder what happened at that point to make it start leveling out, because. The numbers still look still look good, or maybe it, maybe investors thought it went up too much too fast. But a billion a billion dollar valuation isn't much for a company that seems to be doing so well. Consistently beats estimates, year over year increases in revenues and earnings, um, and revenues yearly revenues are a quarter of valuation. I want to go look at these statistics. No forward PEs, but trailing PEs are in the tens or teens, which is a number I like to see. Why is it giving? Why is it giving me ads about meeting people's wives? I don't. I don't care what Chris Cuomo's wife looks like. I don't care what Tucker Carlson's wife looks like. Go away. Held. Almost no shares. Um, available. For public trading, 62.52% held by institutions. 12.45% held by insiders. That means that there is only about 70, or not 75, 25% um, of the shares left for, left for publicly trading for retail investors. That's a, that's a lot, or rather a lot to not be available. But I can see why, because they seem like a very, very solid company. I can see why institutions and insiders would want these shares. There's a lot to like. Oh, they have a dividend, too. Would you look at that? It's a small dividend, but a dividend nonetheless. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I might need to take a drink of water after this. Yeah, let me. I think a good ending point here is to get quarter four earnings recap. Hasn't issued any guidance. Uh, not going to really give me your impression, though. 
That's what I want. I want analysis. Because I know what I can think. I know what I can think. What is Insider Monkey? It's called... It's... Oh, jeez. You know what? I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking. Um... Yeah, I... I like this a lot. I think it's it seems like a fantastic company and I would I would like to give it a buy, please. Please, if I may. Thank you. That's great. Yes. Good. Buy for FFWM.